Hello, my very most beautiful Leos. How is everyone? I hope you guys are all doing amazing. So my lovelies, we are going to be doing your March monthly reading. Now this is a general reading and it may not be able to resonate for all of you. So guys, if you'll want something that is meant for your exact energy, I do have personals open. And everything that you need to know, whether it's about this reading or about scheduling your personals, all of that will be in the description box below for you. So we're going to go ahead and pray and just get started. Archangels, spirit guides, and ancestors, please deliver clear messages with a very clear understanding. For my most beautiful Leos, please, may the messages that need to be heard the very most please come through. And may they please find those who need to hear it. Please show me Leo's energy. A very clear message with a very clear understanding. All right, my loves, let's take a look and see what we've got going on for you. Now you guys can't see most of these, but I will be showing them to you as we go over them. I just need to keep space for your person's energy as well. So at the bottom of the deck, we have the Six of Wands. So you will find success in what you guys are moving towards, okay? I do feel like you guys are dealing with a tough situation here. Um, but I feel like the Six of Swords, or the Six of it's not six of swords guys the six of wands i feel like that is coming up because spirit wants you to know before we get into anything else um you know that you will you you are getting through this this time okay you are you are going to be okay you are getting through this now i also feel like it could be recognition somebody could be recognizing um your value your worth but maybe it feels maybe a little bit too late with that we're going to take a look and see for your thoughts, we have the Ace of Wands in the reverse and the Knight of Cups in the reverse. To me, you know, I do feel like it's a little bit of a disgusted energy. I feel like you guys are... I don't know how to put this. Okay, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna read it now, guys. Keep in mind that the roles could be reversed, so just take it how it resonates. But it, it feels like to me that there is a specific outcome that you guys want. I would be cautious of making sure that you're doing things the right way, okay? Because let's see the right way, but above board, okay? Morally correct, morally sound, okay? Because I do feel it's coming from a place of you know wanting something so badly, feeling such a deep connection. Um, it's also coming from a place of hurt and not understanding. It's definitely, these actions are definitely coming from a deeper, uh, more wounded place, but I definitely see something going on here that we need to talk about. So it does feel to me that you could be worried that somebody just isn't as attracted to you or somebody's lost interest in you. Um, somebody's pulled back their energy. I feel like you don't understand what's going on. I feel like you're taking a lot of that and putting it on yourself. Okay, that's kind of what that feels like to me. Taking the blame and putting it on yourself. Like, oh, well, they just, I must just not be good enough or they might not be attracted to me or they're just not as into me as I, I am to them you know something like that here but you don't need to do that here because that's not the case so we have the seven of cups and the four of pentacles in the reverse somebody's releasing you here and you don't understand why okay you don't understand why somebody um somebody somebody could have ghosted you or somebody just really pulled back their your energy their energy and you don't understand why okay um you felt a very deep connection with this person and i feel like you're like You don't feel like there's anything that's happened between the two of you that you guys can't get past, okay? You feel like this was a very significant connection. You feel like you had a very deep connection with this person, a very meaningful, special connection with this person. So it's even adding to that understanding of, you know, that lack of understanding of why is this person not, you know, what's going on with them? Why are they not interested? Why are they releasing me? And so it could cause some some not not morally high grounded actions because it's it's just coming out of i don't want to say a place of desperation but it's coming out of a place of you know hurt and not understanding and just wanting something so badly and um, but we have the five of swords here and the seven of swords so to me i'm getting a couple different messages this could just be you know really wanting to make this happen you know getting what you want by any means necessary type energy okay it can also be being a little bit manipulative um so just be cautious with that but it can be 
The seven of swords, I feel like you're not fully trusting the reason that this person has given you. It doesn't really make sense. You don't understand what's going on. There's a lot of distrust going on. Just... It's just not a fun energy, and I feel like it's all coming back to this place of being hurt and not understanding, you know, why somebody is making the choices that they are, why somebody is acting the way that they are. So let's go ahead and take a look. We're going to look at their energy towards you and see what's going on here. You know, it's interesting because I don't feel like you're entirely wrong about the connection. I understand completely why you are so confused. Um, we got the Page of Swords in the reverse, the Four of Cups, the Ten of Cups in the reverse, the Eight of Pentacles in the reverse. You know, I do feel like this is somebody who, I don't want to say that they're having a trauma response. But it could be something like that. They definitely have something going on with them. Okay. Uh, I do feel like they are choosing to kind of like close this out here. Um, because they don't, they don't trust anything. It's, it's like this person has been through so much, whether it's in past relationships or just in life in general. They've been through so much that they're always kind of expecting like the other shoe to drop. Okay. They're always looking for it. They're always like looking for red flags. They're creating red flags. That's not a red flag. It's magenta, but it's red now. You know, or... It's it's a soft pink, but it's it's red. You know what I'm saying? Like they're they're really. It's almost like they're looking for any reason to end end things, to and to pull back their energy, to close things out, um, trying not to you know give it too much time, effort, and attention. Like so, they're only giving so much to begin with because they're afraid of and waiting for the other shoe to drop. Um, and I do feel like that could be more of a trauma or sense because of things that they've been through. You know, they're not happy with where things are at. Ten of Cups in the reverse. But I do still feel like they could be stopping communication. And Four of Cups, you know, kind of pushing this aside, kind of rejecting it, not wanting to let anybody in. And I feel like it's because of things that they've been through. They're very stuck in their ways here. Yeah, an, an immovable force, very stuck. But we're going to need to take a look and see. Yeah, they got the... So there could have been something here where they seen something and, you know, seen a, seen a pink flower and turned it into a red flag type of thing. Um, but the Ace of Wands in the reverse again with the Page of Cups in the reverse. So definitely pulling back their energy, you know, denying this opportunity, saying that this is something that they don't want. But it's because of, you know, everything that we just talked about here. In their heart space, they have the Two of Swords in the reverse and the and the lover's card. So they've made up their decision, even though it is undeniable that they feel this connection between the two of you. Okay, they definitely feel the lover's connection. You have the lovers, they have the lovers. They definitely feel the connection. Um, and I feel like it's, it's scaring them. Okay, it's scaring them. Um, they definitely feel the intensity of it. And I definitely feel like they're making a decision based on, you know, those fears, based on what they've been through in the past you know they it's like they recognize that something felt so good if something was so intense and all of a sudden they're like you know what no i saw this and i saw this and i just don't think so their true intentions the knight of wands in the reverse and the four of wands in the reverse so their goal is to not you know to not um really connect with somebody their goal is to not make this work to not make this happen to not get married to not you know they're choosing to i feel like not love at all to just really pull back their energy um and it's, it's all out of fear. So even when they think they're ready and they start something, it's like something came along and it was very intense and it freaked them out. And now they have the Death card and the Knight of Swords in the reverse. They could have like ghosted you, stopped communicating all of a sudden. They're definitely choosing to end things here. Um, and it's all coming out of a place of fear. It's all coming out of a place of, um, you know, trauma, basically, of what they've been through in the past. And they're just like, no, I'm not interested. I don't want this. You know, but they can't deny the fact that they do feel something for you. Okay? So they are more with this energy here. Sometimes this can be making more of a head over heart decision. I feel like they're trying to be more logical about it, but I feel like their emotions are running the show, whether they want to or not. And it's not the and that's not the good emotions. It's not their emotions for you. It's not love. It is fear. Okay. I'm surprised that the devil's not here um, with how fear-based, you know, this is for them. 
And I feel like this is it. I feel like you either don't understand. I know that's definitely a big energy of not understanding, taking a lot of this on you. Like, what did I do? Is it me? It's not you. It's definitely them. Um, you know, you're really wanting to make this happen, but I feel like you don't trust them now either because now it's like, well, you know, they're obviously not telling me something or they're not being honest with me or they ghosted me. You know, now you don't fully trust them either. So it's... It's a difficult situation, but I definitely feel like this person has a lot of stuff that they need to work through, a lot of healing that they need to do here. Um, then at first, that starts with being able to recognize that they even have an issue. Okay, um, so that's what I'm seeing for you guys for this month. Um, a little bit of a stressful situation, but this person has a lot of stuff that they need to work through. So we're going to be praying for them and you. Okay, now if this resonates, let me know in the comments down below. If it doesn't, check out your other placements. Everything that you need to know, whether it's about this reading or about scheduling your personals, all of that is in the description box below for you if you like the way that i read please like share and subscribe but most importantly guys if you want personal prayers for any reason at all go ahead and put the little prayer emoji in the comments down below and i will go through and pray for you so i am sending so much love and light until next time